All right, here's a little off the cuff review of uh, Asics um, shoes and their problems that uh, the fail points. Um, let's see. These were GT 100s and uh, very comfortable shoes. I did a review many months ago when they were brand new. This is after wear and tear, and I was out doing yard work because they're basically shot for presentation wise. But you see that? See that that net right there and right there. And you wear these in public, and you have like white socks on, which is usually most tube socks are white. Um, it looks like crap. And there's uh, there shouldn't be there should be some reinforcement here. I know it's great to have some ventilation, but not to the price, not to the point where it fit, makes the shoe fail. Um, tread. There's still some good tread on there, but basically, I can't be wearing shoes. These were work shoes, more or less run shoes too which is my problem that you shouldn't have your running shoes to be your work shoes you should have a separate set for each one <clears throat> because when they get trashed um, from dual use um, then they won't be look good looking work shoes and they won't they, the running I, I can still run in these but it's you can feel it when you're when you're running and there's holes and stuff so it's, it's kind of a disruptive thing so anyway so I did like that particular make so over here I just got this stuff from Amazon this is a this is a replacement and these are blah, blah, blah. I think these are like the gen 3 or whatever of the shoes are replacing I wanted to get all black but they were sold out so I got this because it's kind of reminds me of a army PT belt the yellow ones and so I thought it might look good if I used that if I was running or something if I got back in the army which I plan to do um, <clears throat> so it looked good with the army PT uniform so anyway I don't know what these are oh there we go GT 100s, right there. You see that? Or excuse me, 1000s. I didn't have zero to that. So, um, so what I'm gonna do? Show you. We get. <clears throat> I showed you the right shoe, the right foot shoe with the, the damage. And maybe it's just my feet that wear holes. There's another damage starting thing right there. Um, so I'm going to pull out that right shoe on the, uh, the replacement 100, the 1000 so I did again, wow. I need to go back to school. <laughs> so anyway, we'll take the right shoe and compare it. These are kind of dirty from outside, so I don't want to get, take them off that. That. So... You can see what happens for a brand new. So this might be a. It's probably the same design. Is it? Or is it an updated version of the. It's an updated dated version of. Yeah, see, Gen 3. And this is Gen 2. So this is Generation 3 of the GT1000. So it's not completely the same, but I will guarantee you that this will wear through just like this did. See? And I'll probably wear it here. It's got the same... I don't know, this does seem a little bit more... This seems a little bit more... Maybe they, they fixed it. I don't know if this is maybe just Lucy Goose because it's been worn so good. Maybe they fixed it. I don't know. Hear that? Maybe they fixed it. I was about to make a rant video about maybe 
that was a problem that they they still have. Maybe they fixed it. Maybe that's a is that no. <laughs> you know what that is? <laughs> you know they stick cardboard and shoes and stuff to like keep the shape. That's what that was. I bet you. Now let's see. Yeah, it's going to be the same thing. It's so they might have engineered that so you you will damage your shoe after a while and have to buy a new one. That's the only way I could think. They must be aware of this. They they got to be aware of that issue. Um, they're not stupid. So maybe they want you to just buy new shoes all the time, which is ridiculous. They should buy a new shoe when you need to, not not because you have to. Um, or or because there's an engineered failure point, like that. So that's gonna happen. So these are my run shoes. Hopefully they won't fail quickly. I don't know a remedy for this. Um, now for my work shoe, um, I got more Asics. I like the Asics. It's just that issue. I need an all black work shoe just to look nice. Um, these are the Asics Gel 180TR. And guess what? I think it's maybe roughly the same the same shoe except I think I think they were advertised as all terrain versus running. Um but you can't see that very well. Oh, there we go. There's no net. There's no net and all that trash. There's a net here. Or the tongue. The shoe tongue. I don't know if you can see that well. But the failure point is gone. So I figure these would be pretty good for work. Because it eliminates that failure point. Uh, and they're all black. Which was the whole point of the original 1000s this gen gen 2 have an all black work shoe looking sharp and then um but still have the a6 cushion and stuff so i hope you enjoy this video um we'll probably make another one here in a few months after the shoes get worn in so what's going to happen with the old a6 the gen 2 they're going to be like work sh work shoes at home where i don't have to worry about you know, looking professional so much anymore so they would be retired to the happy pastures of garden work and, and grunt work and stuff um, I'm almost tempted to say you should have some work shoes at work and then you wear your um, comfortable shoes into work and then you change into your professional shoes for your job and then after that then you change into your gym shoes for your gym and then when you go home and, and you're out in public, running around, stepping and all that stuff and getting nasty, um, you're going to have a good pair of shoes at work and at the gym. And if you mess up your tromping around shoes, then it's not such a big deal. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to resist that. And, well, no, that's probably a pretty good way to go. So I should have bought... Um, uh, a new pair of uh, tromping around shoes so I don't look like like ass when I'm running around um, in public because these are pretty bad looking shoes and when you're in public generally people look at your haircut and your shoes to determine um, your socioeconomic status so worn out shoes indicates you're not your budget is is slim to at least by that that metrics those metrics so you don't want to have nasty looking shoes that could close doors for you <clears throat> at least in certain situations it's not in the garden it's ideal so you don't have to worry so anyway that's it um this is military industrial museum giving you life advice and kind of reviewing stuff here and there most people just come and see every year or two and take off but if you like this sort of stuff and probably you might like some other things Go ahead and subscribe and uh, like and comment and all that happy hey do. Unless you're on a phone, which is hard as heck to comment and junk. Unless you're super good with your fingers, like some people, man. They got like magic blur fingers that can text like a thousand uh, words per second or something. So anyway, it's Military Dutch Museum signing off. Thanks for enjoying my, I'm going to call this A6 uh, review or something. Okay, bye.